Hey guys and welcome back. My name is NG Paradox and welcome back to the new Valyria Let's Play. Now, last time when we left off, we had taken over this whole area, including Bravos, and we had finished our wars. No more wars. The rebellions are done. Things like that. It's all now stable. So now we need to look to a stable new Valeria while also expanding. This is going to be difficult. I've never played a Republic before. This is my first time. Some of you have given me some good hints and give me advice and the information of how things work. And I think I get the general idea. Obviously, at the moment, we have our full quota of trade ports at the moment. I would like to build more, but we cannot. At the moment, though, my heir is not respected, as you can see. He has no respect. Uh, I have money I could put into the campaign fund, but it would not be enough to help him. So right now, I'm going to keep my money in my pocket, um, so that way I can stay powerful and important with that money. We need the money just in case of rebellions and stuff like that. Um, people have been asking me to build up the house, which is probably a good idea, but it costs so much money. Uh, right now, I feel I need to have enough money to secure his inheritance first. Though these would help towards that. It's a big risk. It's you know an investment, I guess, isn't it? You know, like any type of investment, it's a risk. It might help us, it might hinder us. It depends how long my guy lives. Obviously, if he dies soon, that's a problem. At the moment, we're 37. We're Archon Aina, the Axe of Tyrosh. Um, very good position at the moment. Our domain size is too big. I need to fix that. Uh, probably give away uh, lease at the moment. Uh, my plan at the moment is I want to try and create a monarchy. In the future, we need to establish a monarchy so we can get rid of that bloody republic system. It's so, so old and stupid. Who, who wants that? You'd rather have a hereditary monarchy, wouldn't you? I mean, it makes it just makes sense. So that's what we're going to look at to do next. Uh, obviously, we have the Triarchs for life. That one's also good, but it doesn't really help our descendants. So we're looking for the monarchy one. But we need a diplomacy of at least 18 or be a dragon rider. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. Right now, Aegon's the only one with dragons. And uh, he has no children right now but his wife does have a dragon egg she's 40 she's 34 Rainies could give him a son she's probably his best hope of getting a son uh we'll have to wait and see what happens over there see if we can try and inherit some dragons but my next plan is to just try and get our realm stable so i need to get rid of our domain size so that means i need to give lease to one of these men now who should i give it to I'm thinking right now we should give it to this guy, Lord Master Kohori's Egros, because he is married to my sister. It does make sense. His daughter is of our family. So to me, it would make sense to do that. Uh, can we declare war on you? No, we can't declare war on you anyway. We have no uh, Cassus Belli, which is ridiculous because we should have a uh, we should have one on them. I don't know why we don't. Actually, I'm, I'm really not sure why we don't. Why don't we? No, we don't. Ah, that's interesting. What is de jure? It is part of that. So why is that not... Okay, I have no idea why that's not working. Okay, it's just me. Uh, I'm going to give this guy it. So grant land a title. Fetity of lease. And there we go. Perfect. So we've now made this guy the most powerful man in... Uh, Lease, of course. Um, so he'll be next in charge. Um, we'll choose him, I guess. It's the only choice we have right now. I don't think he has any family members, so if he was to die, it would just go back to me. Uh, he's stressed, so he could die, so that's a good thing. That's probably given us some more troops. 16,000 troops, 18,000. Uh, my next target, then, is I would attack these guys, but we don't seem to be able to attack them. Our next target is Pentos, because Pentos supported our enemies in the war against our obvious superiority so we're going to try and attack them he should have lost men yep he only has 3,500 men so our, our next target will be him we want to try and take him down i'm just going to leave it a couple of months uh because we can beat him anyway with more men but just to get our realm a bit more stable for now we still have some factions you don't like me uh this one here depose me is there anything else i can do 
Establish household guard, repay loans. Yeah, we still need to repay those loans as well. We need money right now. I can't afford to spend it on my mansion right now. I would like to, but we can't right this second. Okay. Anything else? De jure ducal claims. Ah, so the lands of the uh, Dothraki. Yes, we will attack the Dothraki, take back these lands. But not right now. Right now, I'm going to leave it. It costs a lot of money to do that sort of stuff. So let's begin. Newly elected triumphs happened to us. Okay, the war's been won. Rebels have been crushed. But our brave loyalist, Lord Lofo, is Nadi. One of the traitors has been brought before you to hear his judgment. Ah, looks like he's a cripple. So he's been made into a cripple. He's a craven. Ah, he's just not a nice person, is he? And uh, I, I am just. So I'm going to let him bend the knee. Allow him to take the knee. Um, that way he'll like me. Hopefully. Has that, has that changed? Hopefully he likes me now. Okay, he still doesn't really like me, but still, he should. Uh, the Triarchs and Uvalera serve one-year terms, and each year must stand for re-election, with other would-be Triarchs. The time for the election has come, and for the ten days, the candidates will hold speeches and debates. The madness begins. Okay, we need to try and become Triarch again. Okay, after many days of fierce campaigning filled with torchlights, uh, we begin. Okay, how should I try to sway the voters? I, I think a modest feast will do. We're not stocked on money, so I think the modest feasts. How much does that cost us? Ooh, that cost me like... Whoa, that cost me like 200 gold. Okay, that better have worked. Uh, Matari's Mega spent many days having private feasts with the voters, trying to convince them to vote for him. Okay. Damn you, Maggie. I don't know how to say his name. Okay, has been declared one of the winners. Okay, Lord Master Aina. Very good for you. Uh, this guy's been declared one of the winners. Uh, Valeris. Uh, and your computer for has succeeded. Oh, thank God. The voters received your gifts and feast warmly. Greatly appreciating your words and promises, you have successfully acquired enough votes to be made triumph for the coming year. Great honor. Now, what I want to do now is I want to try and increase my diplomacy. So we can, when we can change the rules then, we need, uh, what do we need? 15, no, 12 diplomacy or 18. Yeah, my guy is way off that. So uh, we're going to change his war focus, I think. Because we are going to declare war on Pentos, but for now we're going to keep our mind on keeping the realm stable. That one's obviously due with money. This one obviously helps. Uh, maybe rulership would help diplomacy? Or would that help stewardship, maybe? This one helps intrigue. This one helps martial. Okay, intrigue, uh, martial, carousing, family. This one's learning. So maybe this would help diplomacy? Yeah, carousing. Yeah, sounds like if we do carousing, uh, we can try and get people to like us. So he's going to try and do carousing. He's an ambitious man. He, he knows he needs to do what he has to to become the greatest Archon. Well, we're only the second Archon, but we need to be better than our father. And really, we want that diplomacy up. So, you know, sometimes I need to kind of maybe go slightly out of character. Maybe that's not what you think he does, but we need to go slightly out of character for this. 29,000 troops right now. Yes, we definitely have more than enough. Definitely, my son is still not respected. But I think we'll declare war on these guys now. He's facing a revolt. Uh, Carl Zolo's raid on of Pentos. He's attacking Pentos? Are you kidding me? That's ridiculous. Because apparently he's attacking Pentos. They have hardly any men. Um, I'm just going to declare war on him then. Uh, sees Gulltown trade post. Ooh. That'd be good. But royal claim on Pentos. Excellent. Yes, this shall be ours. This way, then, we can unify with the lands in uh, Bravos. But actually, if we if we don't win, if we do win, will this go under us? I might want to wait until this war's over, so we take the whole thing. Okay, I'm gonna wait till we wait till the war's over. I don't want to be in a position like this where we can't seem to actually uh, get these guys under us. They won't accept vassalization. Nothing. Okay. Your vassal lord master Eloqua is called Grayscale. 
Ooh, that is that is horrible. That is horrible, good sir. Your grayscale and wounded. I don't think he'll be long for this world. I still need to give one of my titles away, actually. Which title can I give away? Uh, the castle, castle of black wall. Those are good castles. <laughs> um, we definitely want those two cities, so I need to keep those two. Um, so I need to get rid of one of these two. Or could I keep the one in my home? I guess the black wall. We should give way. Yeah. The castle of black wall. Because as someone said, this is not a hereditary title. This is for the, the leader. So we, we'd always have this. We want to keep that castle. So I should give this one away. Uh, the castle of black wall. But who to give it to? That's vassals. What's one of my court? Uh, Materis. He's the priest. So not you then. Anyone else? My son. Now my son's too young. He's not aged yet. Parkello, he is East Valerian. That's probably the best choice. Yeah, we're going to go with that guy because he's uh, East Valerian. Ooh, this guy also is. Huh. Let's give it to him. I like this guy. Don't know why. Okay, there we go. So now we have our domain size. It's good. Hopefully people like me a bit more. There we go. The factions are basically gone. So that's looking good then. Just waiting for this war to finish then. Right now he's fighting the man, the Dothraki. So his uh, his forces should be uh, kept quiet. He should not be able to uh, fight back. Yeah, 2,100. It's going up a little bit, but intervening on the aggression of a vassal. Huh. The Fist of Byloth. Huh. Good name. So what is this war then? Okay. I'll order them to stand down. I am just. And we need a new healer. Ah, uh, this guy apparently needs to be my new healer. Are you kidding me? This Dothraki, uh, my friend apparently. Okay, we'll make you it. Are you good at anything though? He's good at fighting, 10. Okay, no way near. Let's choose someone here then. Okay. Looks like he died. Um, Enel Panema has passed before his term expired, and so Orbello, Farnius, a senior member of the city's council, shall serve as interim triarch. Okay, um, let's check these positions. So 11 7 is quite good. 10 10. I'm going to keep him for now. Ooh, this guy has 20, so I'm going to choose him. Makes him like us a bit more as well. Okay, not you. I, I, as people pointed out, I did make a mistake. I gave uh, Bravos to a, uh, a castle holder, which is not really a good idea, as you can see. Because this means he probably won't like me because of that one silly thing. How about now? I want him to convert people. Is he not converting people? Let's check the religions. So, this is Valerian now. So, we managed to convert this to Valerian. So, I want you to continue. Yeah, these people are Valerian, so we want them to continue trying to convert this Roller and Faithful. We'll, we'll, we'll convert this land first, the part next to Valerian land. And obviously we'll try and colonize. There's so much things to do in this Let's Play, you know? We started off as an Empire title, but there's so many things to do. Ah, disputed lands. We don't need to do that. Um, I got, I got uh, Atlantis. Who got this then? Ah, he still has this. Obviously, it's not him. It's this land. So I need to get rid of that. So I should give it to someone. I guess I'll give it to that Valerian we saw before. Oh, where is he? Where are you? Where did he go? He was here. Huh. I can't see any other one. There definitely was a guy here. I didn't give him the land. Okay, I'll give it to someone else then. After uh, the intrigue, let's go for a holy man. So I need someone for this actually. There you go. This guy's better than nothing. To be <laughs> he's just better than that guy I had a second ago. To be honest, um, can we give him a place then? Okay. Grant the title. Uh, 
Speed of Harvest. Excellent, there you go. I will make time go by a little bit, then I can obviously choose him for my council again. Oh, I still can't choose him for the council, can I? Okay, I guess the healer's got to be someone who's personally near you or something. Let's get a new one then. I have to wait. Okay, we'll just wait for now. Have I got all my council doing stuff? No, I do not. Um, Overseas province. People to like me. Who does not like me the most? Uh, Maya, yes. We'll send you to Maya. Okay. So there's a lot of things we still need to do. And it's going to be quite slow, I think, to start with, probably. How is my thing? Oh, my son has some respect. Finally. And he got the incompetent commander trait. Great. Uh, my son has not turned out to be the man I want him to be. Oh, well. Neither was I when I was young. Invite to carousing. I guess I couldn't invite him to carousing. Might as well. Invite to carousing. Might be prestige. Excellent. We haven't tried that yet. Ah, we got... Ooh. That's a lot of money. Very good. Okay. So the moment they're on... Ooh, everyone's quite low at the moment, except for him. Yes, because a lot of people died recently. So that's good for us. Okay. We just need that one guy to die. Still can't get a new courtier. Unfortunately, I cannot join you at this time. Damn it. Uh, we should enter the slave trade. Yeah, I think we should enter the slave trade. Uh, buy slaves for your camp. Yeah. Let's arrange to get some slaves then. Uh, you've saved up a considerable sum of money and plan to purchase a large number of slaves. You arrange to meet with a slave who might be willing to sell you such a host. The slaver man from Little Valeria, by the name of Materes, Mega, bright, briefly considers your offer before accepting. Ah, very good. He's from Valeria. To organize it for a vast host for new slaves. 400 gold. Ooh. Well, you know, we need it. We can always sell them. So, um... Yeah, we can always sell them. It's good to have some as well. Perfect. Okay, that's fine. Costs us a lot of money, but we can always just sell them like we did at the beginning. Uh, their wars are still going on. Just as him. That's going to be a long war, it looks like. Sadly, I might just attack. You've arranged to meet with Lord Alcor Sunrise Road, a wealthy man from Sunrise Road who wishes to purchase one of your slaves. Ah, chooses anyone you like. Yes. Okay, a bed slave. He would like her. She is attractive. So I, I want lots of money. 115. She's attractive. You want a bed slave? This is a bed slave. I'm just going to declare war on this guy. Um, yeah, we're just going to do it. I can't bother the wait. Oh, I can't declare war. Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay. Exchange is done. Ooh. He accepted. Interesting. Huh. Okay. Fine. Okay. Who would you like? You would like this guy, maybe. Okay. Well, he is a friend. He <laughs> he is my friend. So, 225 gold for the slow, formidable fighter. Yes. 225 gold. Gold is what it will take to pry him from my hands. The price is outrageous, Master Materies of Valentine Coast Butters. Well, fine then. Go elsewhere. See if I care. Okay. When we claim King of the Stormlands, yeah, yeah. we're not going to go to the Stormlands yet. I want to get my lands connected. Uh, another guy wants to meet. This happens all the time, doesn't it? I want 150 gold. Uh, so a high price must be paid. Okay, let's try 150. Price is outrageous. He's a formidable fighter. Why do everyone wants to buy this guy, don't they? 115 gold. Oh my god. She wants a bodyguard. Well, he'd be perfect then. But more than you can afford, yes. Oh my god. 
115. <laughs> okay, the price is outrageous. Representative from the Iron Bank is here. I'm so I can't pay it. Let's pay the interest. 